In today's Football Manager 2024 video, I'm going to be showing you another nap tactic creation. This one is the T for one, four, two, three, one. This is a solid looking tactic that is built with a sweeper keeper, a back four which contains two fullbacks. It has a midfield duo who both look to protect the back four and break up attacks. At the top of the pitch, it has a trio of players in behind and advance forward and are all looking for goals with an attacking mentality. There will be a full breakdown of this tactic at the end of the video, so stick around to see what makes it tick. For this test, I have run a single season sim using the winter update and I've turned off the first transfer window. I've selected Barcelona, Celta Vigo and Las Palmas to see how the tactic will get on in the hands of a variety of different teams. Before I show you the results though and give you the breakdown of the tactic, if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, now would be the perfect time to go and subscribe. We are moving ever closer to the release of FM25, so there will be lots of new content coming onto the channel in the run up to the brand new game. Also, if you're the type of person who wants to support a small creator, there's a link to buy me a coffee on the channel homepage. Right then, let's break down some results. Let's begin by looking at the La Liga table. It would be Barcelona who ended the season at the top and become champions. The Catalans would win 29 of 38 games, scoring 120 goals and reaching a points total of 91. In second place, impressively, we find Salta Vigo. A team predicted to finish outside the top six would end up being Barcelona's closest pursuers. Salta would win 26 matches, scoring 97 goals and finishing on 85 points to qualify for the Champions League. The last team tested was Las Palmas and they have far exceeded expectations. The Canary Island team would finish in 6th place, winning 20 times to end up on 65 points and that would be enough to qualify for the Europa League. In the other competitions, Barcelona would finish runners-up in the Copa del Rey, they would win the Super Copa and reach the quarter-finals of the Champions League. Salta Vigo would reach the third round of the Copa del Rey and Las Palmas would make it to the fourth round of the same competition. Using this tactic, Barcelona would go on to score an average of 3.16 goals per game. Salta Vigo would end up with an average of 2.55 goals per game. And Las Palmas would score 2.05 goals per game. It would be no surprise that Robert Lewandowski would end up as Barcelona's top goalscorer. He would net 45 in all competitions. Top of the assist charts for Barcelona would be Rafinha, who laid on 20 assists. For Salta Vigo, their top scorer would be Jorgen Strand Larsen. The Norwegian scored 25 goals on the season. In terms of assists, Carles Perez would lead the way. The top scorer for Las Palmas would be Sandro, who scored a total of 21, and their top assister would be Alberto Malero. Right, with all the results complete, let's break this tactic down. So this tactic is the NAP T for one, four, two, three, one. As always, I'm going to go through every position on the pitch and show you the player instructions. We will also go through the in possession, the in transition and the out of possession to show you what makes the tactic tick. Let's start then by looking at that sweeper keeper who is set to defend. On the left you have a fullback set to attack. There are two ball playing defenders both of which are set to defend. And on the right another fullback set to attack. In the middle you have two defensive midfielders both set to support. On the left an inside forward set to support. On the right, you also have an inside forward set to support. Through the middle, there is an attacking midfielder set to attack. And at the top of the pitch, you have an advance forward set to attack. As with most of Nap's tactics, this one comes with a custom tiki taka tactical style. Its mentality is attacking. The in possession will look like this. The in transition will look like this. And the out of possession will look like this. 
so that's a run through of the t for one four two three one this is a tactic that goes on to have great success and if you have found this video helpful and want to download this tactic to try for yourself there will be a link to the tactic in the description down below if you download the tactic all I ask in return is you smash the like button and hit the subscribe speaking of hitting the subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel now would be the perfect time to do so we are in the run-up to the brand new fm25 and that means that there is going to be plenty of content in the run-up to fm25 and beyond if you have enjoyed this again hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you download the tactic let me know how you get on with it in the comment section down below